Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So, in 2025, we're hearing more and more about junior developers having a hard time finding work, or a harder time. I saw a stat recently that even 7% approximately of graduates from comp sci degrees are not getting work. There's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, we're seeing a market turnover, a market churn, a market change. We see this every now and then. I'll get to that in a second. And number two, something Zuckerberg pointed out, and I've seen that myself, a lot of the comp sci degrees are not training the students with what they need to be useful to employers. This is nothing new, by the way. I remember back in the 90s when Java was big and was, you, could, you could get tons of Java jobs. There were so much Java jobs required. People needed Java developers, rather. And they were training students in like Fortran and Delphi and stuff, you know, not good. So those are the two reasons why people are not getting jobs. One of the reasons, what I just mentioned before, was the fact that uh, there is a churn happening. There is a turnover. Things are starting to change in the software development world. So this is where, this is where in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do, step by steps, whether you're a junior developer, or an experienced developer wants to jump ahead of the pack, get that advantage, get that high paying job, or find those very lucrative freelance opportunities. So where's the opportunity now? The opportunity, of course, is in AI. AI development, specifically agentic agent AI development. I'm gonna give you some outlines here, what you need to do, what you have to learn, step by step. Um, essentially, why do you want to get into this whole new type of development with AI? Because, because that's the future. It's kind of like in 1994, 95, when I jumped into the web stack, even though at that time, thick client Windows development, VB development, VB6, uh, and, and a bunch of other things, you know, DCOM stuff, uh, that was in, you know, CD-ROM development, DVD-ROM development, that was in. But I knew that the web was going to be the future, so I jumped onto the web stuff. So eventually, those CD-ROM programming jobs, those C DVD rom programming jobs. Remember, back in the day, prior to high-speed internet, if you wanted to deliver apps, you had to do it via CD or DVD. You had to write code to be able to deploy them. Uh, I've written apps for Big Pharma that actually ran off of CDs and DVDs. Those technologies are no longer exist. They have disappeared for obvious reasons, right? So what we're seeing now with the rise of AI and agentic development, we're seeing the same phenomena. We're seeing the rise of this new type of development based on AI and agents. So here is the roadmap you should take as a developer, whether you're a junior or otherwise, and why you wanna go this route, because that's where all the jobs are right now businesses are looking for these type of uh, developers, the a AI agentic developers. They're struggling to find these people. And uh, so if you jump in now, that's the, that's the low hanging fruit, right? There are, don't, don't get me wrong, there are JavaScript jobs and, and Python Django jobs and React jobs, etc. But the bar is higher there now because there's a lot of React developers, a lot of uh, Laravel developers, etc. But what they're lacking now is the AI stuff, the AI developers, the agentic developers. That's where you want to go. That's where the demand is. If you can come into a prospective business with those tools in hand, with those skills, whether for full time job or as a freelancer, you're going to do really well. So let me just jump into some of the things you got to learn. Okay, so first of all, you still need to know your foundations of code. So I would, and the two key languages, programming languages, of course, are uh, Python, because you interact a lot of AI with Python, and JavaScript. Those, if you're gonna learn any programming languages, those are the two to learn. Um, also, I would suggest learning the web stack. You don't have to be a master, but just understand uh, the request response cycle, how to put up a website, her so hosting, uh, servers, client server, stateless, nature of the web just the basic stuff any beginners course will teach you that so my my web development course will teach you that so once you have that then you want to j jump deep into the uh, new stuff where all the money is 
like try to trust me if you get into this AI agentic stuff the chances you've landing a high paying job are much higher today than your chances of landing a job with react or with PHP Laravel uh, even though these are all great technologies there's gonna be jobs in these for years but the low-hanging fruit the low-hanging fruit. What I mean by that is the biggest opportunity because there's just not enough developers. So they're gonna, they'll take they'll take a lot more people. Uh, they'll take juniors, agentic developers over junior React developers. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, once you have your basics in the software, as I did, traditional development, we'll call it. Then you got to jump into um, the AI landscape. You have to really get to know it. You have to understand what is out there. So you should understand the models. You should understand what what models are out there now, and it's always changing, and where they're strong in one thing, where they may be weak in another, because one of the roles of a AI developer is to understand the model landscape, to understand what's out there. So for example, today the big players are GPT-4. You want to go with the, the logical models, I'll get into that in a second. Uh, Claude, Gemini, Rock, for example. And I don't want to recommend any particular model in this video for this or that or the other thing because it's constantly changing, right? One day, Claude is the best for code, and then two weeks later, it's going to be Rock, you know? These things are changing so quickly. But the key is, is just to understand what is out there, right? And you have uh, the big players, like, you know, the Geminis, the GPTs, and you also have uh, the open source ones, Lamla 3, Minstrel 7B, um, DeepSeek. You have a couple options for you as well. The cheaper options uh, have cheaper cost of utilization, the token cost. When you're using these AIs, you're paying for tokens. A token is just a piece of text. Anyway, I won't get into that there. But the point is, you just got to understand the landscape. So when you go into a job as a freelancer or full-time job or maybe you're going to start a SaaS business you understand that landscape you understand your choices just like a, a good developer understands when it makes sense to use react when it makes sense to use express when it makes sense it might use python django or php laravel etc and so forth so i'm going to jump in a little bit into the weeds of ai and i don't claim to be an expert like i'm looking at investing in ai businesses i have friends of ai businesses i've done my i've talked to a lot of experts in it like Guy, a good friend of mine, he did a lot of research in AI for Meta for a couple of years. So I have my head wrapped around some of the concepts, but I'm not exactly some AI expert. But I'm going to give you an overview here, something to look into. Okay, so we have a few things I want to define. So what is agentic agent development? What it actually means? So number one, an agent, an AI system that can take an input, plan steps, call their API services, loop on feedback, and produce a result often with minimal human oversight what's happening when you are doing agentic develop you're basically putting into place autonomous ai agents bots who can do things so you give them a set of parameters you give them the environment to work within and then they just do it. you don't have to code every single step of the way it does that for you it's very cool so um in fact this is becoming a big thing i just did a uh, couple ads, I did one for um, Docker, and they got, they're embracing this thing big time. And uh, also PayPal, a PayPal example, they're putting in what they call an MCP layer, Model Context Protocol layer, which is basically SQL for agents. So agents can go out there, these autonomous agents, and query PayPal and say, hey, what can you do for us? And it goes, Bleh! and through the MCP layer, it's able to tell the agent, hey, we can do this, this, and this. So then the agent go, oh, okay, let's do this. Let's process this sale. Let's process this subscription. Let's create this new user account, et cetera, and so forth. That's just one simple example of what you can do with these agents. Very, very powerful. So somebody might ask me, what courses should you take? I would just go to GPT or Grok and start asking it. And just use the AI to help you learn quicker. If you're looking for work, you want to raise your salary, you want to get that entry level job, you want to make yourself super valuable. The trick is not React anymore, that's past. The trick is agent AI development. Go there, you got to think of it as React, what React was whatever, five, six years ago or eight years ago, whenever it came out. That is the key. That is where you're going to find your big opportunity. Remember, it's a basic rule in business. 
You want to go where, where the market is growing fast and demand is high, supply is low. That's where the salaries go up very high. That's why developers were so valuable for so long. There was such a lack of developers in the market that they were paid a fortune. And uh, so now, yeah, the AI, excuse me, the React um, explosion is, uh, is over. But now you got agentic AI explosion, which is just starting. Jump into it, you can make good money. All right, I'm Uncle Step. I hope you found this video useful. I've been a software developer since the mid 90s, early 90s. 94, I wrote my first commercial website. And I've seen these trends. I've seen technologies come and go. And I've seen over time, we've become far more productive, productive as developers. So just in the web space, I have to say, back in the day, we used to have, to have to write a lot of plumbing code. We used to have to write a lot of boilerplate code, but as the technology became more sophisticated, as the uh, architectures became more refined and mature, we had to write less and less of that. So we got closer and closer to just building functionality for a particular app as opposed to you know rebuilding the engine over and over again. So this AI revolution, agentic development, is just the next layer on top of that so uh yeah yeah even go watch if you're wondering about this stuff i would also suggest go watch the recent demonstrations or presentations uh at google they talked about their gemini stack go watch um the ceo of google watch interviews with him where they talk about what they're looking at same thing with microsoft they just did a recent events and it's all about AI and, and go listen to uh, the A, uh, the CEO of Microsoft talking about uh, where they see development going forward. And uh, it's very, very interesting. It's telling. That's where it is. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, any concerns, let me know. If you disagree, let me know in the comments below. If you like my hat, give me a thumbs up. If you like my long hair, uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, there you go. Cheers.